Hi, I'm Seth Shostak. Have you been thinking about your immune system today? Well, maybe you should. I mean, uh, I don't think about mine too often. Mostly I'm thinking about how to earn a lot of money and maybe buy a house. But if you have been thinking about your immune system, you're probably, you know, regarding it as some sort of internal defense system. Some, some I don't know, army of little white blood cells that are ready to do battle with any pathogen that somehow manages to intrude upon your personal spaces and get into your body and make you sick, right? Well, Matt Rickdahl, a famous author, or at least a well-known author, says that actually your immune system is sort of a cross between a bouncer and a ballet dancer. On the one hand, as bouncer, it's ready to do battle with any pathogens that do get in there. But on the other hand, as a ballet dancer, and that's most of what it does, it just sort of kind of dances around any of the other things that it finds in your bloodstream because they're not harmful. Now, the subtle workings of your immune system are important because if your immune system were just singularly focused on destroying anything that it didn't recognize, you would end up as a pile of white blood cells on the floor. A rather, I mean, unappealing mess and difficult to clean up. That's not the way it works. But understanding how our immune system works, understanding the subtleties of how our immune system works is something we're just doing now. How it interacts with your microbiome, something else you probably haven't thought about today, although it's, you know, it's there in your, you know, trillions of little cells there. Your microbiome, the immune system, they all work together. There are even fungi in your gut. Fungi, that's right, there's a fungus among us, not among us, it's in us, right? Well, we're gonna take on all these kind of interesting internal topics on this week's Big Picture Science. It's called Granting Immunity, and I suggest you tune it in. So if you like this video, maybe you want to subscribe to the SETI Institute's channel, and you can do that right where you're watching this video. You can also turn on the alerts. I recommend that you do that so you don't miss anything important, like maybe the impending end of the world or something like that.